Toyota has been working with a new solar film development company to basically wrap its cars in this thin, very thin film, which can just be kind of used almost as like a paint to give their cars the ability to charge while they're driving, while they're sitting in the sun. And if it actually works out, this could be one of the few technologies that Toyota are working on that makes sense. The efficiency of this new thin solar film is actually quite remarkable. And it has me a little bit excited and intrigued. For once, this is not a video talking about some of the crazy things that Toyota has decided to do. It's actually a video saying, hey, hang on a minute. I like what I see. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. I'm here in Newcastle in Australia. If you haven't been here before, it's definitely a place worth visiting. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back. Everyone else, it's great to have all of you. Any Coat Technologies, which is a Kyoto University PV technology spin-off, and Toyota Motor Corporation said they will team up on developing perovskite cells for applications in vehicle integrated photovoltaics. This is interesting because, I mean, Toyota is the biggest car company on the planet. I don't think they will be in, you know, five or six years time. They are today though. So if they can get their act together and start producing EVs, it'd be very interesting to see if they cover them in this new thin film, which apparently is almost transparent how much extra range they can get in their cars. The two companies will continue to promote the development of practical applications by integrating any coats, elemental technologies for perovskite solar cells and Toyota's in-vehicle technologies for solar panels with the aim of promoting self-sufficiency in renewable energy and contributing to the achievement of carbon neutrality, the two companies said in a statement. I don't know why they can't just say what they're planning on doing. It's just a bunch of jibber jabber words in my opinion but anyhow any coat said toyota will use the cells it develops and produces with a proprietary deposition technology that enables the production of a perovskite module with an efficiency of 9.4 percent as of march 2023 now there are still a lot of people engineers some of them who say this won't work it's just too much added weight and complexity to the car to make it financially make sense but it does depend on where you live. Uh, I mean, if you live in an area where it's sunny almost all the time, let's say you lived in Spain, I think this could be a really good option, especially when the efficiency is this high. 90.4% is quite high for these kind of thin film solar perovskite cells. Using a low temperature coating process, it is possible to create a highly uniform, ultra thin film as shown in this figure here. Taking advantage of the wet process makes large area surfaces suitable for mass production. We plan to move forward with roll-to-roll -roll production that can be tailored to the application and scale in the future. In April 2022, NGK Insulators, a Japanese network attached storage NAS storage specialist, acquired an unspecified stake in any coat, says pvmagazine.com. pvmagazine.com says that... Japan-based Green Science Alliance, which specialize, specializes in the development of electro materials for solar cells, also invested an unspecified sum in any coat in June. So some pretty big names believe this technology is about to take off. They believe that cars will be covered in thin film solar panels, which I really like this idea. I hope it works. I mean, if you think about it, solar sucked 20 years ago. It was wasn't useless but I mean it wasn't just didn't make sense for most people to actually buy solar panels but I mean imagine how good it will be considering how good it already is today compared to 20 years ago today solar is just miles better and miles cheaper than what it was 20 years ago the same thing will happen for this thin film solar that you can basically paste onto a car Toyota said in March that it had selected Japanese solar manufacturer Kanika as a supplier for solar cell deployment in one of its electric vehicle models. Kanika solar cells have been for years recognized as the most efficient crystalline silicon PV device developed at both the industry and research levels. However, Chinese manufacturer of solar Longi said last November that it had crossed 
a power conversion efficiency of nearly 27% with an unspecified heterojunction HJT solar cell based on a full-size silicon wafer and that it was bringing it to mass production. Now, I report on this channel regularly on the incredible changes in solar panels and how the efficiency produced in panels just continues to go up, 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 up. And what an amazing place we live in. Well, EVs, we're on the cusp. The greatest transformation to the automotive industry in it over a century. This is going to play a part. I think it is. I know a lot of people don't agree with me. A lot of people say the solar on cars doesn't work. But sometimes that's because it didn't yesterday. But it might tomorrow. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.